Okay, hello you four. This is our week four video, uh, a skills challenge for you. Again, looking at some training and catching. I've swapped them around a little bit because I've moved it inside because you might be able to see it's still very snowy and cold outside. So I'm going to move one indoors for you today. It is nice whether you can do this one outside, but I'm going to film it inside for you today. You're going to need two balls for this challenge. So two tennis balls. Um, I'm going to use these two soft tennis balls because I'm inside. Uh, two bean bags. Two pairs of socks would work, but these are these are for you, so you can hopefully leave mine alone. Uh, I'm going to get the music started, and nice and easy. I'm going to start with just one. So first of all, all we're going to do is one-handed catchings to get started. So first of all, again, just one-handed catching, just right hand only first. So nice and easy, just get, get used to some basic skills we've done before. You don't want the socks. I picked you my best ones. You just want the ball, don't you? 10 more seconds, just keeping that ball up and down in one hand. Concentrate as best you can. Hand eye coordination. And then we're going to swap in a couple of seconds. Okay, left hand on now. Same idea. Just one hand, this and really concentrate. Keeping that ball up and down. Nice and simple. Thirty seconds. Oh, not quite. Ten more seconds. All right. And now we're going to move. some this time we're going to go from one hand to the other. So we're going to build this up towards a juggling action. So for this one, get used to passing the ball from one hand to the other. Try and do it. So you haven't got to move your hand too much. Try and make the ball travel from one hand to the other without having to move your hand too much. The better you can do that, the easier the next ones will become. So we're gonna to move to two balls in a second. Five more seconds of this one. Okay, I'm gonna get the second one. Now you're gonna have two balls, two hands. Can you catch both at the same time? If you keep them out in front of you enough, and throw them a similar height, hopefully you can keep your eyes on both and catch two at the same time. Behave, good boy. This is tricky. Can you get two at the same time? Ah, particularly my left hand is the one I'm to concentrate, as you can see, now I've got the right hand. Okay, and the last one then is to add it to a juggling action. So you can start by throwing one up and passing the other underneath. Again, that throw across is really important. Then the harder version is to throw one and then throw the other. Throw one underneath. So throw that first one higher, and then throw the second one underneath. And try and get a couple of juggling goes in, as you can see. Well, there we go. That's time anyway. Are you going to drop? No, you're going to look very proud of yourself. So quite tricky ones. Try them inside first, okay? But have a go at all of them, see if you can do it five times. Submit it online once you've done it, send me a picture or a link, or just say, yes, I've done it. Tell me which ones you liked, found hard, okay? And those are your five this week. Try and repeat them. And if you repeat them in the order that we practiced, they get harder and harder as you go through. So it's a good to stick with that order as well. I'm just gonna try and get this one back. It might be a while, you might have to send that one back.